Today, I'd like to introduce our new pipe master, developed for pipe cleaning in the chemical and petrochemical industry. We can clean pipes with a nominal diameter from DN50 to DN250, even all the way up to DN400, and all the way up to about 300 meters or 985 feet in one piece. The pipe master replaces the operator in close proximity. Nobody's going to be holding the high pressure hose in their hand. The pipe master takes care of everything twists the hose into the pipe and drives it through and back. About the technology, we have a pneumatically driven seamlessly adjustable drive with which we can regulate the speed of the hose. A maintenance unit, on-off switch, and the gearbox or drive adjustment where you can adjust the speed during running operation. Once set and secured, the rotational speed is maintained over the entire length of the pipe. Then, over here, under a protective cover, you'll find the rotary connection. In this case, in DN13, in the future also available in DN20 or up to 3000 bar or 43 kpsi. This is the rotary connection. The rotational movement only starts via this connection when we reach a pressure of at least 300 bar, 4350 psi. In order to prevent the hose from running over the dirt in the pipeline in the event of a pump failure. Let's go to the feed unit. Here we are at the feed unit or feed and retraction unit. Our rotating high pressure hose runs along here under pressure. It's secured here and then continues through these pairs of rollers. In order to implement the feed via the rollers, the feed is switched on here. and the hose is given a twist by the interlacing of the rollers and the clockwise rotation. Once we've moved far enough into the pipe, we can stop the forward feed and retract the hose with reverse rollers in the opposite direction. This will pull the hose out of the pipe. This is very important in order to clear out the pipe from any removed materials. Here we're at our next component, namely our protective hose, a corrugated stainless steel hose available in different lengths. With this hose, we bridge the distance to the safety device, but can also bridge the way into a pipe bridge if you want to work into a pipe bridge from the ground. The protective hose ends here and is attached to our safety device. On the one hand, the safety device consists of a quiver tube, the nozzle is currently placed in the quiver tube, and the cleaning process starts from here. The big advantage of this is that the nozzle can no longer backfire out of the pipe, so it cannot unintentionally come out and cause injuries or damage to other components while under pressure and you can clean your pipes seamlessly, which means that nobody needs to manually clean using a blasting gun. We pass the first inch of the pipe with full cleaning power and pressure. Now we've briefly explained the essential components of the system. And now we'll show you our little course that we have set up here. We have four 180 degree turns and four lengths of pipe of about six meters each. We'll show you how we enter the pipe and how the hose works around the bends. Now before we get to the practical part and demonstrate this to you, we currently have a 20 meter or 65 foot hose connected to the pipe master. This high pressure hose will run all the way into the course that's approximately 30 meters or 100 feet long. We'll then connect the second hose to demonstrate that several lengths can be run.